let's look at some of the rain out there. So right now, I mean, this is more of a nuisance rain. I mean, you're going to have the wipers on this morning, but temperatures are mild, so the roads will be wet, but they won't be necessarily as slick as what they could be Thursday as some snow is expected to mix in for your Thursday morning drive. But let's talk about the here and now first. So we have the rain up towards Flint, a little bit of light rain developing on the east side, but not as widespread as what we have from Ann Arbor towards Jackson and down into Adrian. We will jump around town though, so I can give you more of that street level mapping or at least the city view. So that little sliver of Mount Clemens towards Utica dealing with that rain. You're going to be in and out of it if you're traveling along uh, M53 Roseville down towards Harper Woods, Gross Point, a couple scattered light showers there. This is lifting north of Hamtramck. But if you're waking up in Southfield, Franklin Township right now, no rain coming down on radar, but that doesn't mean that you're in the clear. We'll have more rain pushing through throughout the morning. Waterford up towards Fenton dealing with some of those light showers and then as you travel towards Washtenaw County south of I-94 Ann Arbor Saline and then going down into Lenawee County for Adrian areas by Tecumseh Blissfield getting some of the light rain showers right now. So you can see the movement is more of an east northeasterly movement. So we'll continue to have off and on rain chances. Right now we sit at 53 degrees at Metro 50 in Howell 51 in Pontiac and Adrian's at 53 east southeasterly winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So about an hour from now, this is what radar should kind of look like. We'll have those scattered showers across the area and we're still hovering right around 50 degrees and then that pushes up to the northeast throughout the morning. So by the lunch hour, now we're looking at some scattered showers from Metro airport towards Sandusky, but our western communities are drying out briefly. There could be a few more scattered showers that roll through this afternoon, but otherwise we should be drying out as we head into tonight, though I'm not going to rule out an isolated rain chance. Bus stop forecast today. Umbrella needed this morning. Maybe not so much when the kids are dropped off from school. So the first part of the day, those younger kids in elementary school not going out for recess. But this afternoon, possibly it's just gonna be really windy, still kind of soggy out there from the morning rain, but a high of 60. So the air is at least mild. But now let's dive into the winds. Wind gusts upward of 20 miles per hour throughout the morning and going into at least the mid afternoon hours. Tonight we fall to 45. We're mainly dry. But then as we go to tomorrow, 54, starting the day dry, rain showers developing into the afternoon. Let's time that out for you. This next weather maker. So you get brushed with the shower by 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. And that's about it. It's not a washout by any means. But this is what we were talking about just a moment ago. 7 a.m. on Thursday. We have snow mixing in with that rain and the temperatures do not have to be at 32 for that snow to mix in. You have to remember that the air aloft is going to be colder, so some wet flakes could be falling and hitting the ground and then we'll start to see a changeover into the afternoon as those temperatures rise closer to 40. Earliest snow that we've had on record over at Metro Airport October 12th, latest December 19th. Our average is November 16th. So we're pretty much on par with average when it comes to that snow falling. We'll be in the mid 40s this weekend, drying things out, and then we're still in the 40s going into early next week.